welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to talk about exporting videos, specifically exporting your video at a higher resolution, and then how that compares to the project timeline resolution settings. So let me show you what I mean. So this video that I have here, the original resolution is at 2560 by 1440, which is a 2K file. However, my project settings are at 1080p. Now, whenever you go to your deliver settings, you can actually export this at different resolutions. And so what I've done here is I've exported this at the normal 1920 by 1080 P, which has no problems. However, if I choose a higher resolution, say, for example, I wanted that 2K resolution that I had with the original video file, and then I went ahead and exported this. Now, if I went ahead and add this to the render queue, it's going to give me a warning. Are you sure you want to add to render queue at a resolution larger than your timeline resolution? Now, if you say yes, I would think that, okay, now it's going to export this at that resolution, but is the quality of the video going to be at the higher resolution or it's going to be at the project settings resolution? Let's go ahead and see what the results are. So what I've done here is I've actually exported the video in both 1080p and in 2K. However, in both cases, the project settings is 1080p. So what we want to see here is if this 2K export is truly 2K or is it just an upscale 1080p? Now, before we find the answer, let's go ahead and look at the original video. So as I stated earlier, the original video, it is a 2K file at 2560 by 1440. And if I zoom in really close, what you're going to notice is the actual sharpness of the text. And so that's kind of what I'm going to use to see whether or not the exported 2K file is the same as the original. So let's go ahead and look at our exports. Now the first one, it is the 1080p export. And there's really no surprise here. But if you zoom in a lot closer, you'll notice that the text is going to be slightly blurrier than the 2K resolution file. For all your email management needs, check out AWeber, the preferred choice news at geekoutdoors.com. Sign up today and get a 30-day free trial. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So now let's look at our 2K export using the 1080p project settings. Now in this case, the actual exported file is indeed 2560 by 1440, which is 2K. However, if I zoom in really close, you'll notice that the text is not as sharp as the original 2K file. So basically what this tells me is that the resolution that you export, if it is at a higher resolution than the original project settings, then it's really just going to upscale that video and it's just going to expand it to fit that resolution. But in reality, it's not going to be at the same resolution as the original file. At least that's what I've gotten from my test. So that is it on this video on export settings and the different resolutions that you can use, specifically choosing a higher resolution versus your project settings. If you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do your exports in DaVinci Resolve, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials and tips, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.